In today's global economy, competition for attracting companies to locate or expand is tough. Companies that make the decision to grow here don't come to that decision lightly. And no longer is the draw of sunshine a factor for a relocation decision. It is about the bottom line and how a business can perform better in Arizona than other markets nationally and globally. Where Arizona was unique for us is it had a tremendous talent pool. So if you look at the market here, it's the sixth largest market, but it's still a reasonable economy for people to come in, to be able to build homes, to have an opportunity to live close to the office. Arizona has really been a perfect fit for Campus Logic um, because we work in educational technology. Uh, we partner with colleges and universities. Arizona, and specifically Phoenix, is kind of a hotbed for innovation and education. So the three universities being located as close as they are, it allows us early on to get connected with students um, as sophomores and juniors do internship programs. In rural Arizona, economic policy is really helping our region by keeping the cost of doing business low. The legislature has done a, a very good job with keeping Arizona very competitive with our neighbors. We did look at a few other states and we decided that Arizona was a little bit more friendly in terms of cost of living and as well as projected growth for the state over the next four to five years. So what was unique about Arizona was how integrated the support for business has been. I mentioned you know the governor has been a strong supporter but it comes down to the city of Phoenix, the mayor, working together. The Arizona Commerce Authority is an organization that was very um, open and actually aggressive in soliciting our ideas. That's something that it's difficult to find states that fully get that. They'll have maybe a strong mayor, but then the governor isn't as supportive. So those key issues. The, the city of Gilbert has been fantastic for Campus Logic. Uh, the, the mayor's office and the folks there have, have checked in with us on a quarterly basis, uh, wanting to know if they could help us find space, office space. Uh, for our growing uh, workforce. Maricopa County, oh my gosh. Uh, I couldn't believe, you know, we participate actively uh, with some of their programs such as the Europe program and the coaching and the mentoring there. They were also very welcoming to say, what do you need? How do we help you find talent, engage within the community and do some of the programs that you're looking for? The partners that came across, groups like the ACA and GPAC and so forth, came forward and said, what do you need? what information, how do we get that for you, who do we need to connect you with, who do you want to talk to, and I think they remove a lot of barriers so that you are finding your way very easily. We joined the Chamber of Commerce um, not too long ago, but even before that uh, we attended a few classes put on by the City of Scottsdale to help guide new and small emerging businesses into making good decisions that would make them successful in the future. The challenge is for us to attract business and industry to Chino Valley really is we have plenty of land but no infrastructure. By working with the ACA and the Rural Economic Development Grant Program we've been able to pull together enough funds for a uh, $2 million uh, infrastructure project that will bring sewer and water and some much needed road improvements to the east end that we've designated about 200 acres for uh, that kind of economic development for job creation. Every 50 jobs injects $20 million into the local and regional economy. So that's a pretty good return on investment. Arizona has sent a very clear message to business from the governor on down that this is a place that businesses can be committed to not only come but to grow and to consider growing long term. The state needs to continue its commitment to education for this to be an attractive place for us to do business. That's both on K-12 as well as on the higher level post, um, post high school and graduate level work. I think what Arizona can do to stay competitive to keep the growing companies that are here, here in Arizona, is continue to invest in things like infrastructure, making sure that uh, there is a new growing workforce all the time of students who are graduating with an entrepreneurial spirit. So Farmers is a Fortune 500 company, and Arizona has shown to us that this is a great place to grow and to expand. And we believe that if Arizona continues its focus on consistent tax policy, labor employment laws, mitigating litigation and explosive litigation costs, its commitment to education, all these factors make Phoenix and Arizona in general a great place to grow your business. As reflected, economic development comes in many different shapes and sizes. 
In southern Arizona, recent wins include Caterpillar, locating a regional headquarters in downtown Tucson, and bringing between 600 and 1,000 high-paying jobs. The economic impact is expected to be in excess of $600 million. And Raytheon is expanding, adding 2,000 jobs and investing upwards of $400 million in construction spending alone. Both projects required cooperation, collaboration, and coordination between multiple agencies, the city, the county, and the state to land these deals. All great news, but there is still more to do. Arizona legislators need to continue to focus on improving the state's competitiveness and on enhancing our position to attract and grow national and international companies. Programs that offer support to companies training new and incumbent employees will help maintain their competitive advantage and retain talent and jobs in our state. Modernizing economic development programs is critical to the state's future success for sustaining both established and emerging industries in Arizona. We are AAED and we look forward to working with you.